Under a cloudless sky in Sandy, Utah, Rio Tinto Stadium, the site for today's match between Real Salt Lake and the Seattle Sounders. It's Jeff Kassar. He's going to make three changes, both outside backs. Tony Beltran, Chris Winger come back after missing last match because of yellow card suspension. Kyle Beckerman sits in front of that back four. Keep an eye on Luke Mulholland over on that right-hand side. Make three changes coming off that big Open Cup win Wednesday night. Zach Scott comes back in alongside Chad Marshall. DeAndre Ledlin over on that right-hand side of the defense. Lamar Nagel's over on the left. No Marco Papa because of a hamstring injury. And then up top, off the shoulder of Clint Dempsey, will be Kenny Cooper. As we're underway. Real Salt Lake in the clear red. Seattle Sounders in the ray of green. Beckerman for Joao Plata, team's leading scorer this year. Weaving his way past one, past two, and Plata saved by Fry. Well, it's the third time we see Joao Plata flare out to this left-hand side, get isolated one-on-one -on -one with DeAndre Yedlin. Cuts inside, eludes a few challenges, and uncorks one with his right foot just inside the 18-yard box. Plata has it back again, across for Luke Mulholland, who puts it wide. And Seattle so far has not conceded. Leo Gonzalez on the open side of the field, up ahead for Lamar Nagel. In today for Marco Papa. Nagel has Gonzalez on the overlap. Gonzalez driven across, beaten away by Ramondo. And Beckerman the only man there. Beckerman looking long for Garcia to chase in a foot race with Scott. Holmes Garcia is there. Plata's in the center. Gets the cross away, just beyond Joao Plata. Another great opportunity, and it starts with no pressure on Kyle Beckerman, able to pick his head up and pop a ball up over the top. Olmos Garcia does a good job slowing things down, and then Plata trying once again to take, get to the top of the six-yard box. He's drifting in between the shoulders of the outside right back and the center back. Rolled ahead for Dan Gallagher. Fans urging him forward. Garcia back for Gravelfoy. Mulholland with his hands out. Stretch wants it and says slip through. Olmes Garcia in the box. Rolls it in front. Throw the touch. It pings around. It came off Marshall. And again off Fry. Almost an own goal. And it's cleared away. Pinball in the box. And the Sounders survive. Now once again, combination play. Gravelfoy gets his head up. A little through ball. Splits the defense. And Goodhart runs in the box. Stefan Fry gets the first touch, comes off Marshall, and a big clearance from Leo Gonzalez. Foul on the far side, then Mulholland going down underneath Nagel. Big bodies are forward for Real Salt Lake. Grab a boy and Mulholland are over it. It's Mulholland who swings it in, and the header is in for a goal! It's Joao Plata, the shortest man in MLS, his second straight game. That's quality service from Luke Mulholland, and the ball's just drifted to the back six. Gets in behind his mark, and Joao Plata just peels around to the back side after that simple push in, comes back off the shoulder. Right place, right time. Beats Stefan Fry up over his head. Great goal from Plata. His 11th goal of the season, and marking just not good enough at the back six. Five foot two, Joao Plata. Knocked away by Marshall. Plata intercepts the attempt to go the other way. Luis Gil's onside. He'll try to find spaces for Mulholland. It's a touch from Alonso. It's two nil, Real Salt Lake. Luke Mullen is celebrating like it's his, but the initial entry pass comes into Grabovoy. He goes down, he wants to foul, but Joao Plata steps back inside. Luis Gil feels pressure, pushes to his right-hand side. Slotted ball through the legs of the onrushing defender. And Ozzy Alonso looks like he gets the last touch that pushes past Fry. Mulholland runs to the corner and celebrate. He'll take it. 
RSL up 2-0, 57th minute. A bang of the ball gone. Able to get away. It's the early cross in. Roses choosing it down. It's Clint Dempsey, an opportunity saved by Romano. Roses header off the post. Barrett puts it away, and the Seattle Sounders aren't dead yet. But just too slow in terms of clearing their lines for Real Salt Lake. It starts with Cooper on the near side. Somehow he gets away from Beltran. Good searching ball inside the 18-yard box. Winger does not feel Barrett, or excuse me, Andy Rose. After the initial stop on Dempsey, Rose pushes it off the post. And then right place, right time, Chad Barrett following up the play. Romano comes up huge the initial time. Rose pushes it off the post. And then there's Barrett just finishing it up, doing what every good striker should do. And now here come the Sounders, Gonzalo Pineda. Barrett and Dempsey running with him. Dempsey now in chase, Borgers the defender. Dempsey pulled it at wide. Ellen Cage with Borchers now. Dempsey coming inside. Try to lift it over. That would have been something special. But it's out of the end. And Nick Romano not happy at all. Again, Romano's not happy with the fact that Clint Dempsey's isolated one-on-one. -on -one and there's no back pressure, no help, no doubling up. Keep an eye on the way Borchers takes away the cutback ball. Top of the six-yard box. He's trying to isolate him, but he's waiting. And there's no one coming off the right shoulder of Nat Borchers to double up. But it's now gone for good. Real Salt Lake, first place in a Western Conference, and for a few hours at least, first place in Major League Soccer.